Hi there, this is Bill, and I'm just going to cover a couple of really quick things in my travels in Revit. I've um, basically done hedging and do hedging and Project North and True North. Just a couple of things that I've done, which may or may not be very clever, but um, they got the job done, and that's the main thing. Here we have. Uh, a wall um, that has had a material applied to it and that material is, if I can just uh, pull it up on here just put, bring it over, there it is there I found that within about 30 seconds of looking on the internet um, I just dialed up hedging uh, and looked under images and came up with this one and it said it was seamless which I think you'll have to agree that that's obviously tiled but it doesn't look like it's tiled so score one for uh, not not tiling something and yes I know it could be nice a bit rounded on the edges and could be a bit more realistic this and this job by the way um, was a bit of a trial as we we've launched from various um, options and, and uh, uglinesses to uh, hopefully getting something that was eventually not looking too bad that's one of the early Enscape pictures there and I'll just show you the one of the final ones was uh, where are we here we are this one here. So this is what it ended up looking like, which is not not that bad. It's um, you could argue that it's pretty ugly looking hedge, but it's doing doing a job. It's presenting the picture, and that all of that was a photograph in behind it. So I I took my photograph, cut out the building, and pasted it onto the background of of um, a real place. And, and I had to really deal to the house, that house there, big time, because there was a, a garage there that wasn't supposed to be there, so that was fine. And so we move on to now this True North business. On here, I've got my True North there, and as you can see, my Project North is running directly up the page. And one of the things I found about this was a bit disconcerting was that you have over here the orientation and if you change that to true uh, well project north is still the same right and then true north that's that so it hasn't been altered so what was happening was that the sun was rising over at the bottom of the page going around there and setting that way but in actual fact, it was more like the sun was rising over here and going that way. So, to rotate the north, it, it's really easy. Um, I don't know why I was so worried about it. You go up to manage, down to position, rotate true north. And it, what's disconcerting is you get this thing here and you think, well, what do I do with that? Well, the answer is wave it around until it's running straight up the page and then click once and roll it around. At this time, I'm just choosing 45 degrees. And one of the things that really threw me was, oh no, I'm going to have to ever, forever work on a slant. Well, the answer is, no, you're not going to have to work on a slant, because what you can do is, you change that back to Project North, and everything's working along as you were before. So... And then when you go into Enscape, hopefully the sun rises down here somewhere and sets over there somewhere. So if you go to, say, level 4, it's still running Project North, and it's still got Project North here. And I think if you choose that one, yes, it rolls it round. So it, it's, it's at least fairly consistent. Okay, I hope that's... Um, given somebody an idea for, for doing hedging and doing 
rotating your true north and not worrying too much about it. Thanks very much.